Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to Dr. Muhammad Rasidi and also Dr. Abdul Hadi. We would like to present our group project which related to stress and strain concentration at a circular hole in an infinite plate. My name is Syed Nur Adab Zafri bin Ismail and also my friend Ramin Raj number 7. This is our outline of the presentation. I will present to you the objective, general information, the background, and also the findings. Ramin Raj will talk about the mathematical method that we use and also the conclusion of the study. The objective of the study is to understand the relationship of mathematical theory and its approach in engineering, also to introduce and demonstrate the mathematical theory involved and its novelty in a research. This is our journal that we referred to, which titled Stress and Strain Concentration at a Circular Hole in an Infinite Plate, which was written by Abri Stowell in 1950. The scope of his research is stress and strain distribution under unit existential and also theoretical and experimental comparison. In this study, we want to investigate the theoretical problem of the stress distribution and the stress strain curve. The condition is we have an infinitely large sheet with a circular hole. As we can see in the picture, it is under a tensile load. We can assume it as a very thin plate, which is in the equilibrium of a homogeneous isotropic and infinite elastic plate. Two type of data has been collected, which a theoretical data, we calculated data from formula, and also the experimental data, which taken from previous study, which is done by George E. Griffith. Then we will look and compare both data under stress strain curve. Here is the findings of the study. The graph shown is the stress and also the strain under the concentration factors and versus applied stress. First, we look at the strain curve between the theoretical data and also experimental data. The graph shown that the calculated strain distribution, which is the theoretical data, is below the experimental data. It was found that experimental strain concentration factor results show a similar pattern as theoretical but higher near the hole. As concluded that the stress equilibrium and strain compatibility are not satisfied. For stress curve, the curve and the points is better and the theoretical values may be considered to represent the actual distribution very well. Therefore, to know how the mathematical method being used to get the findings of the research, I would like to invite my friend Rabin to continue this presentation. Thank you. Good day everyone, my name is Rabin Raj. I would like to explain more on the mathematical method which consists stress strain formulas for infinite plate condition, partial differential equation of stress equilibrium and also the Euler equation. Considering the equilibrium of a homogeneous isotropic and infinite elastic plate whereby all the stresses are uniform. At infinity, radial stress, circumferential stress, and shear stress formulas are stated in the middle of this slide, where derivation of this formula into a uniaxial tension, which is known as Kirch solution 1898, gives us the formulas as stated in the slide at the right hand side. It can be noticed that in all unixial solutions has unknown g functions where the g 
unknown g is the second modulus at a point radian and the theta which denotes a polar coordinates conventionally referred as radian and theta that gives us uh, two conditions the first conditions will be the stresses are elastic everywhere and known as elastic solution g equals to one and the second limiting condition would be equivalent to zero whereby the point of a higher stress which is at r equals to a and the theta equals to pi over two from there we plot a graph whereby e is a differential of stress over strain and the slope is the e differential from the g unknown give us the function of differential of stress e upon solving the g function and substitute in the stress equation gives us the partial differential equation of stress equilibrium in polar coordinate of the plane stress therefore in our case stress equilibrium equation is stated at the right hand side of this slide by setting the partial differential equation of stress equilibrium in polar coordinates of the plane stress equivalent to zero which gives us the differential of circumferential stress and the differential of t function as well which is stated at the right hand side of this slide by setting the value equivalent to zero prove that the assumed stress are satisfied the equilibrium equation of the plane stress in the previous slide the equilibrium equation of plane stress we shall consider the error of that particular equation and shall be made as minimum as possible thus the calculation of variation yields to the Euler equation for this case where c1 and c2 are constants from the condition g equals to 1 and g equals to 0 it is found that c1 equals to 1 and c2 equals to 0 Therefore, the final stress system obtained by inserting G into the equation gives us the equation at the bottom of the slide. Now then have identified the stress equation, we shall insert the maximum stress of point whereby radial stress is equivalent to shear stress which gives us 0 and the circumferential stress is pi over 2 which gives us the stress concentration factor equation as stated in the slide now going to the strain formula whereby from the standard strain formulas we shall insert the similar derived circumferential stress radial stress and shear stress equations as stated at the right hand side of this slide upon in setting the highest concentration point whereby theta is equivalent to pi over 2 thus the strain concentration factor is as stated in this slide as the conclusion the theory of elasticity shows the maximum stress at a circular hole in an infinite plate in tension is three times the applied stress when the material remains elastic and the strain concentration factor result shows a similar pattern as theoretical but higher near the hole thus the mathematical approach helps the author to compare the experimental data and theoretical data the mathematical approach used in this study considers differential equations of stress equilibrium Euler equation of variation calculus Kirsch solutions and also the formulas related to the strain stress under the elasticity theory. That's all from me and my fellow mate Shit. Thank you for watching and hope you guys learned something out of it. Good day.